Hello everyone, it's been uh, quite a while since I made a video. I uh, really haven't had too much to say, to be honest with you. I didn't want to just make a video for the sake of making one. But uh, for this one, it's going to be my, uh, mm, I guess why I'm leaving Japan and whatnot video. And check out my sweet beard, by the way. The, uh, <laughs> the little uh, uh, elementary school kids I absolutely love it. They're goal oh, suge. <laughs> Uh, which means, uh, amazing, by the way. Um, so yeah, I'm leaving Japan because I want to get my English master's degree. And because, uh, my grandparents are kind of, you know, nearing the end of their lives. So I want to go and spend time with them before, you know, the inevitable happens. Because, you know, we're all human beings as far as I know. And, uh, we all will die eventually. Not to make this video dark, but that tends to happen with me. Um, also, pardon the dark room. I'm trying to use as little electricity as I can because the uh, electricity company called me at like mm, like an hour ago, and uh, I kind of convinced them into keeping the electricity on for another like two hours or whatever. So I'm trying to be courteous and not you know just you know suck all of the power <laughs> while I'm waiting for, to be taken to uh, the train station. So, like I said, I'm leaving because I want my English master's degree and because I want to spend time with my grandparents. Um, yeah, so for the next, well, what is it? So today, tomorrow, today and tomorrow, I'll be in uh, Hiroshima uh, sightseeing there. And then I check out of the hotel in Hiroshima on like 11, probably. I think most of the hotels are the same. So yeah, I'll check out... Uh, my third day in Hiroshima on the, uh, like 11 a.m. or something like that, and then I will go to Osaka, and then I'll spend three days in Osaka, and on the third day I'll check out of Osaka and go to Tokyo to meet my little brother, who is flying in from Spain, so we can sightsee for like 10, 10-ish days or so, uh, so yeah, I haven't, <laughs> I'm really not sure what I want to do in, uh, uh Hiroshima, so I guess while I'm while I'm waiting and filming this, I will uh, figure out some stuff to do in Hiroshima because it's raining today, so I probably won't get to do anything today, which is fine because I'm completely bushed from finishing packing and whatnot. As you can uh, as you can see, the only stuff that's left is like my toiletry stuff and my laptop. Everything else is pretty much cleaned out. Um, thankfully, the new ALTs or uh, assistant language teachers. Uh, that came took pretty much 90% of my stuff. Um, so that was cool because I didn't have to throw anything. I didn't have to throw too much away um, besides, you know, food and stuff, which I hate throwing away, but there's really no other option than throwing it away. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's gone more or less pretty smoothly. The gas guy came. Uh, I, I paid him whatever the uh, residual stuff was because today, obviously, everything was canceled. So I paid him the residual stuff. I paid the water guy the residual stuff. The electric company, kind of a pain in the ass, because they have you, uh, instead of like a, instead of someone coming out from the electric company, they basically call you, and they give you what your total amount is that you have to pay, and then they give you a number to pay at one of the uh, convenience stores. Basically, it's either Lawson or Family Mart, neither of which are near me, naturally. The one that's near me is 7-Eleven, and I can walk there and, like, three to five minutes or whatever. So conveniently, it's not that one, obviously. Um, which kind of irks me. I don't really know why they can't do it at 7-Eleven, but it is what it is. I can't change it. So I'll have to pay that sometime today on my way to the train station. Uh, thankfully, there's there's a couple different convenience stores on the way to the uh, train station, so I'll be able to pay it there. Um, so, yeah. Uh, the only stuff that's left uh, is my rice cooker and my router, which I'll be giving to one of the other new teachers, uh, thankfully. So I wanted to worry about disposing of those. Um, I'm going to try and keep, keep the video short, because like, normally these things run like, tw <laughs> like 20 minutes to a half hour. Uh, yeah, so I would like this to be like a short video. Plus, I'm tired, so if I you know, keep this going longer, then I'll just like ramble on about nonsense. Um, however, I will make another video uh, with my 
the company that I worked for, Interact, now that my contract is over, I can freely say their name and whatnot and tell you all about them. Because I, I didn't want to say, say them while I worked for them because it's in my contract that I cannot say them, say their name or anything really about them too much while I was contracted with them. But I'll just tell you, I'll, I mean, overall, my, my branch wasn't, wasn't bad. They, were, they, they pretty much left you alone, so... Yeah, I'll make a separate video about that so anyone who, you know, is looking looking into it can, you know, get someone's point of view on it. But I'll, I'll probably make that sometime this week while I'm, you know, bored in the hotel room. Because it's probably going to rain all week, knowing my luck. But, um, yeah. So, I'm just currently waiting for my ride to come to my uh, apartment to take me to the train station. So, I get on the bullet train and go to... Uh, Hiroshima. Unfortunately, because it's, you know, May, when all the kids and whatnot have spring break and people take vacations and whatnot, right now is the start of the high season, or the, or the busy season, because it's the end of the fiscal year for Japan. So, yeah. Unfortunately, ticket prices are higher. Um, I'm going to try to uh, pre-buy my tickets to uh, Osaka and Tokyo and do my reserve seats so I don't, you know, miss out on going there because that would really put a put a wrench in my plans. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I am I am dead tired as you can probably tell. The my eyes look like freaking slits. Um Yeah, I'm excited to come back home and see my lovely puppy Kelly. Uh excited to eat American food again. Uh, definitely, that's, that's, that is for sure. Decided to cook again, because as you guys saw in my first video, my kitchen is very minuscule, and it's a pain in the ass to cook anything on the electric stoves, because it's either on or it's off. There's really no, there's not a lot of heat control with, uh, those ones. I'm sure other electric stoves are, you know, pretty good, but that's, you know, just a, just a cheap, just a, a very cheap kitchen stove thing. Yeah. So I'm really not sure what to do because I don't cause I don't want to start doing something and then have them shut off the electric and then have them shut off the electricity while while I'm in the middle of doing something. So thankfully I can pretty much film this without too much issue because it's on my phone and my phone is fully charged. Thankfully, that would suck if my phone wasn't charged and I turned off the electricity. But uh, I'm trying not to <laughs> I'm trying not to really like eat or drink anything because uh, obviously the water guy shut off my water and whatnot earlier, so I don't want to. You know, have to use the bathroom and have no way of uh, getting rid of it, let's say. So, yes. Um, I'm looking forward to spending time with, you know, anyone who wanted to uh, hang out while I was in Japan. Fortunately, no one, no one came, but I do totally understand that the tickets are very expensive. For, like, a round trip, it's, depending on how early you book it, it's anywhere from, like, 1000 to $1,600, give or take. Uh, that's just for uh, economy. If you want to go, you know, first class or business class or whatever the airlines call them now, uh, it's a couple thousand dollars. So, yeah, total, total, totally understand that. Um, I definitely highly recommend coming to visit Japan. Uh, I wouldn't... Mm, if you only have one choice of a place, of a city to go in Japan, obviously, I mean, go to Tokyo, it's, it's the, it's probably one of the, one of the best cities in Japan to see, um, that's not, as I said before, that's not how, like, 90% of Japan looks, that basically, Tokyo is Tokyo, um, it's kind of like how, you know, all of America doesn't look like New York City, or LA, or whatever, so it's pretty much the same thing, mm. yeah, really not sure what to talk about, uh, I might just end it in the next couple minutes after I uh, talk about how awesome my kids were, or are, rather, awesome my kids are. Uh, I had my friend uh, Isamu translate a bunch of my thank you notes because they were all, almost all of them had, you know, a whole bunch of kanji in them. And I cannot read kanji. Uh, I, can, I, can do, I can do pretty well with romaji and uh, hiragana. So usually those aren't an issue, but just with the kanji, it makes it a lot more difficult to read because then I gotta try to you know draw all the kanji, uh, bleh, draw the kanji on the translator app, and then hope that it get hope that it gets it right, and then put it into context with the rest of the sentence. And it's just doing 180 of those. I really just don't want to do. So <laughs> I would much rather just 
just pay pay my friend and 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 buy him dinner because he does it for a living. So he can do it much faster and much more efficiently and correctly than I can do it. So yeah, um, a bunch of the or, uh, one of my schools, the uh, fifth graders wrote me a uh, note saying, "Oh, <laughs> we love you forever. We miss you so much." And it's it, it, it's such a satisfying feeling to know that I touched the kids' lives that much, and I and they had such a good time with me because I had, I definitely had a good time with that class. Like every time I taught that class, everyone including the homeroom teacher, who was quite cute, by the way, uh, was just absolutely just cracking up every time. And there, <laughs> there was one kid, he has, like, he has the funniest laugh. And, like, his eyes get, like, really tiny, and, like, he does that, like, American, like, gut laugh thing to where, like, he, to where he, like, he just, like, leans back and he just, like, laughs uncontrollably. And it is, it is infectious, and it, it is the funniest thing ever. It is, oh, man, I'm going to miss that. Uh... I teared up at my first school saying goodbye. Um, first of all, I hate goodbyes. Goodbyes are uh, goodbyes are super awkward. But uh, I did all my goodbyes in Japanese too, kind of just uh, impress them a little bit and say thank you and whatnot. Uh, you know, put forth the effort to immerse yourself in whatever culture you're trying to experience, because usually the people in that culture appreciate you making the effort to. Man, I look like shit, man. Good lord, do I look tired. Mm. Oh, I'll get to sleep in a real bed tonight. I don't like my, you know, futon, <laughs> which is like that thick. So, yeah, not not too much comfort there. But yeah, uh, other, the other three, during the next three schools, I didn't tear up. Um, my last school, uh, it was it was game over because that was my favorite school. Uh, Ryojo Elementary School. That was definitely my favorite, and all the teachers, or most of the teachers there loved me. Uh, the principal definitely liked me. He was, uh, uh, from what I could understand in his, like, farewell speech to me and the other teachers, uh, he was very impressed that, that uh, with my progress in Japanese, because initially we couldn't really talk too much, because I didn't know a whole lot of Japanese at the time, or at least how to formulate sentences coherently, and he didn't know a whole lot of English, Besides, you know, just, like, really, really basic stuff. So, over the year, it, it was pretty cool to see myself progress to have, you know, towards the end to have, like, half-hour-long, con- like, actual conversations in Japanese. So, that was really cool. And that was that was really awesome that he uh, brought that out, too. So, I wholeheartedly appreciate that. Um, overall, it's been a fantastic experience teaching here in Japan, getting to experience a culture that I've... Uh, a culture in a country that, that I've wanted to see since I was, you know, in middle school. So that, that that's really cool. And it was also um, wonderful to uh, experience teaching because I've had, you know, a plethora of jobs <laughs> so far in my life. So it was cool to add on another, you know, job that I've done. And I I do enjoy it. Uh, it's, it's, it's very um, satisfying being able to teach someone else something that you know, whether it's a language or, or a skill or a subject or whatnot. So that's cool. But I will, uh, thanks for watching these videos and, keep, and keeping up with me and sorry that I haven't posted a video in a very long time. Um, I don't know what, what I'm going to do with this channel once I, you know, get back to America. I, I might make it a uh, anime review channel maybe. Because anyone who knows me knows that I love anime. So, thank you for watching these videos and uh, experiencing Japan with me. I will post a bunch of pictures um, when I get back home or get to a... Actually, no, when I get back home, I'll probably just post, like, all of my pictures uh, from my trip to Japan this past year. I don't know how much I've posted, so I, I'm just going to post everything again. Plus, I'll, you know, obviously, being in three different cities in the next two weeks, I will have a whole bunch of more pictures from from that too. So I'll, so like I said, I'll, I'll just put up a giant, uh, a giant collection of them. Well, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, if you're interested in teaching in Japan with my company, Interact, uh, I, like I said, I will post a video about that and the process and everything else, uh, later this week when I can sit down and actually make some sort of like a bulleted list. So I'm not rambling on like a moron like I did in this one. But like I said, thank you. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if you want to subscribe and keep up with me with whatever I do, just, you know, press the button down below.
Thanks for watching, and uh, have, have a good day whenever you watch this. John A.